President Trump faced not only a new Democratic majority last night in the House, but a sea of white with dozens of Democratic congresswomen and some congressmen dressed in the color to show their support for women's rights. It's a nod to the suffragists who came before them and paved the way for their inclusion in uh, having women in politics. So one of those lawmakers that was dressed in white is Representative Robin Kelly of Illinois. And she's joining us now from Capitol Hill. Thank you so much for joining us, Representative, because I know you got a busy day ahead of you. Yes. Why did you wear white? What did it feel like to be in the middle of that group of other women wearing white at sort of a historic time for Capitol Hill? Well, that was a way for us to show our unity and our togetherness, and it felt fantastic just to look over and see all the women on the Democratic side. So it was a great feeling. So the president, uh, Congresswoman, made a comment about how women have filled 58 percent of newly created jobs, and he got an unexpected reaction from all of you. Uh, describe that moment and why all of you reacted the way you did. Well, we had so many new women fill jobs uh, in Congress, so we felt like he was talking to us, and we wanted to show him that we're here, we're going to be active, and we're going to be advocates. Um, you had a special guest with you uh, at the State of the Union, uh, Diane Latiker. Can you tell us a little bit more about her and the work that she's been doing? Right. Diane Latiker is the founder and director of Kids Off the Block. About 15 years ago, uh, when the shootings were occurring and kids were dying, she decided to open up her home at first to eight uh, young people off of her block. And that has grown to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kids over the last 15 years. It's her part in trying to prevent gun violence. Mm. So this might be astounding to our viewers, Congresswoman, but it's the first time in eight years, for the first time in eight years, the House Judiciary Committee will be holding a hearing on gun violence today. Uh, given all that's transpired over the course of the last decade in this country regarding gun violence, what are some of the key issues that you would like to see addressed in this hearing? Well, we're going to talk about how important universal background checks are. We have a bill, H.R. 8, but also I expect uh, Diane, because of where she represents and lives, uh, to talk about uh, gun trafficking and straw purchases. There's a lot of different things uh, that have caused the gun violence in America and also the importance of investing in our community so our young people pick up, you know, pens, pencils, books, and job skills and not pick up guns. You know, and hopefully the the importance of, I'm sorry, uh, mental health, since suicide is a big part of uh, gun violence or the impact of guns. We heard the president talk about crime. It was in relation to immigration, though, and he's talked about in the past that, you know, if you have a wall on the border, then crime would be reduced significantly uh, in this country. You represent part of Chicago. Was there anything in this president's speech that moved you, that you thought spoke specifically to your constituents and some of the challenges that Chicago has been facing? Actually, I was very disappointed. I didn't expect him to mention Chicago. That was okay. But he talked about, you know, people coming over and who they're killing, but he did not speak at all about the situation in the United States of America and the gun violence that we face, whether it's the school shootings or individual murders. He said nothing about that except in regard to the synagogue, which was tragic, but he blame that on terrorism and uh, did not talk about the everyday shootings and people feel very ignored and left out when it comes to that type of murder. It was something that a lot of people picked up on as well, uh, Congresswoman. Uh, Representative Robin Kelly, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate thank it. Thank you for having me.